I'm Anna from Miss A Crochet and today I'm going to be testing out High Crochet's Beginner Crochet Kit. I received three kits in the mail. Um, well, at first I was contacted by High Crochet and they said, hey, you want to test out some of our kits? And I said, yeah. So I got their classic um, dinosaur capybara and this one doesn't have it, the bee. And I think today I'm going to be testing out the dinosaur because it's the smallest and because I painted my nails blue the other day. I'm wearing blue. It's all blue, I guess, today, and he's blue. I'm also wearing my bubble earrings um, to match the little squeaky bubble that you get to put in the plushie, which I'm very excited about. They also sell the little bubble thing separately, so... I think if I really like this, I might get some and make some other things with it. I know All From Jade just designed a pattern with the little uh, bubble squeaky thing. We shall see. But as of now, let's jump right into it. Okay. I'm very, very sealed shut. I really don't want to have to use my teeth, but I might have to. Let's see what this comes with. We got the... The thing, the beep, 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 and stuffing. Oh, it's a digital pattern. Interesting. You get hot glue, a very, very tiny, tiny crochet hook. This is a two millimeter crochet hook. Uh, light blue. I don't know what brand of yarn this is, but I like it. It's very thin, but it's really soft. So we shall see. I think the rest is going to be yarn. Oh, I was wrong. They gave you a um, darning needle, I think. Uh, Keychain, little safety eyes. Their safety eyes are weird. They're not safety eyes, they're just little like dots. Uh, three stitch markers and a keychain ring. And then for the yarn, you get the blue and white for the body and then rainbow, woo, rainbow for the spikes. So I'm going to scan this QR code and I'm gonna get the pattern and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, um, hmm. So I guess, yeah, you are supposed to have a hot glue gun. I don't know if I have a hot glue gun that small, but this chair is like leaning backwards. I know I have a hot glue gun somewhere. So I'm, just gonna get started. I am beyond 100% sure that this uses yarning under, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's what I'll do. I don't love yarning under. If need be, I will. If need be, I will. I'm slowly learning to appreciate it. Slowly. But it's not always my favorite thing. And because this is so tiny, I feel like it won't be. <laughs> but we shall see. I don't know if we're starting from the top of the head or like the bottom. But so far, the yarn is hardly shedding. I mean, literally not at all. And it very successfully passed the magic ring test. Now, that's a tiny magic ring. But... We shall continue on. Uh, I think this is the smallest hook that I've ever crocheted anything with. So if it doesn't look great, forgive me. Um, <laughs> right now, it's it's actually not that bad to crochet with. Is it's, it's actually really soft. When I first was looking at it, I was like, "What yarn is this? It doesn't really look like a chenille, but it kind of is. I like it." I mean, it's tiny, but I like it. Camera switch. Okay, I might actually really be liking this. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's something about the metal finish of this hook that is very, um, like, grippy. Sorry, my dogs are barking. But it makes the yarn not, like, fly off of it all the time. And you can kind of hear it, like... I don't even think it's squeaking. I think it's just the texture of the hook. And so as of now, I'm very happy with this hook, even though it's so tiny compared to obviously the normal hooks that I use. 
it's smooth. It's almost smoother in a different way than like the regular hooks that I use are. It's, I don't know, there's something else about it. Also, it's a really long hook, which I really appreciate. And so far, I'm not having any hand pain. I was kind of expecting, you know, some hand pain because it's tiny, but it's really gliding on and off the hook very, very nicely. So I am happy other than the fact that I just forgot what I was doing. I kind of want to know what yarn this is, like what their yarn manufacturers are, because I could get behind this. I could get behind this. The colors are obviously really nice. Um, so I think I could make cute things with this too. I mean, obviously I am right now, but if I could do this and I could make like mini, um, like a Tori Sama, radish spirits and no faces oh my gosh that would be iconic i don't really know what we're doing i think the next row is going to be this and then i'm going to have this and i'm going to have to try and shove this through maybe i'm not 100 percent sure but i love this love it already <laughs> been a long time but I have the body all the limbs the eyeballs and now I have all seven spikes ready to be assembled for the final review um right now I'm really liking the yarn it's just really thin so it takes forever to crochet but I can really easily see my stitches which makes it <laughs> really nice so in their instructions, they said you can either sew on or hot glue on the spikes. And I think I'm gonna hot glue them on because sewing on seven tiny spikes doesn't sound like fun. I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun and get the show on the road. The pattern's super easy to read. They also have a playlist that comes with the pattern that has like how to do all the stitches and then they crochet one like with you on the video. Uh, I didn't really need that. I mean, I know how to crochet. So, yeah. I'm liking it a lot. I think I want to make... I don't know which one I want to make next. I think I want to make the capybara next. Because it's a capybara. Um, but I really like the squishy thing. It was actually really easy to um, put into the plushie. I had no issues. And I was a little bit scared about that, but... It was super easy and it's really fun. It does make a little bit of a noise. So I wouldn't like recommend using this like in class or in an environment where it could distract others. But I think I want it like on my lanyard or something. So then when I'm like walking around, I can just be like, bloop, 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 bloop. My hot glue gun is taking forever. I'm also not very good at hot gluing things onto crochet. So we shall see. I probably should practice lining up all of my spikes to make sure I get the placement right. That would probably be smart. Oh, of course, <laughs> that's where the little thing is, so I can't really stab it in that far. It looks like I'm torturing this poor man. I am so sorry. <laughs> He looks like he's being tortured. I think I'm going to be smart. Oop. And I'm going to start with the last one first. You know? I think I'm going to be smart. Maybe smart. Maybe not smart. Who knows? We got one fin. <laughs> we got one fin. Yay. Six more to go. I'm definitely getting better at how much hot glue I add because now it's looking really cute. It does feel a little sacrilegious to be using uh, hot glue uh, to assemble, but it was in the instructions, so 
I'm just gonna do what the instructions say. <laughs> I just have to squish it between each and every single one. I don't know why. I have to squish it every time. I just have to. Is it worth burning my flesh? Yeah, it is. I have no clue what this yarn is, but it is super soft. And for how thin it is, I really, really like it. I think it's a really high quality yarn. It doesn't do that really terrible thing where when you're sewing, it doesn't just like completely crumble off and like turn into nothing. So I was able to sew on the tail and the eyes and all the arms and everything. I have a bunch of the yarn left over. I barely used any of the yarn provided for the spikes. I have a ton of white, which is exciting. The blue, I don't have that much left over of, but I also kind of... Are you okay? I kind of um, used a lot when I was color changing, so whatever. But I have a lot of the other colors left, which makes me excited because that means I can make another thing with them. And I do still have a significant amount of stuffing left. They give you a lot for what you're supposed to make. I do not have any of like the little eye bead things left. They give you only two for the project, but I have my own safety eyes, so I can obviously just use that. I will say adding the bubble thing um, and making sure it like fit and worked uh, stressed me out <laughs> when I was thinking about it. Um, but then I just like watched their video and they pretty much just like flip the plushie inside out, push this little part out and then you pull it out and then flip it back. That made no sense, but I could see it in my brain. But it was super easy. It obviously works really well. <laughs> and um, I kind of wanted to get um, some of the little bubble things that they sell separately on their website so I can make other animals with this fun thing. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you can make so many things that have this just silly little bubble. Also, um, something very like random and underrated is the fact that they have the lobster hook at the end of their keychain. I love this. I think it's absolutely genius and it's making me regret all my decisions because when I have to add keychains to my plushies, I have to use my like pliers and clamp them on. And this is super smart and it would let your customers just easily remove it from the plushie. Oh, if I can do it. I'm trying to do it with my left hand. That was dumb. Like that. Like it's so easy. <laughs> And that's really smart and I feel really stupid. I love that. The pattern is really easy to read. I'm also just like good at reading patterns. I would say they don't have the assembly instructions written in the pattern, but in the assembly video, they hot glue, I think, everything on. So why would you really need assembly instructions if you're hot gluing? Uh, still, whatever. I hot glued on all the spikes because I don't have the time to crochet on seven tiny spikes but I did sew on the tail the arms and the eyes and I think I mean you can kind of see where the hot glue is but not that much so I'm not mad I think I mean they're smart to have it hot glue especially because it's supposed to be for beginners and Another thing, I actually do think that this is a pretty good pattern for beginners. Um, maybe if I was like really, really recommending one, I would say like, uh, does the capybara have color changing? I don't know. Any one that doesn't have color changing, but if you have color changed in the flat, it's not that bad. Also, I just think it's fun. Like for me, this was fun. This is, you know, it was a challenge in a different way because I had to yarn under and use really thin yarn but it was still plush and it created something that I really, really like. So if you are kind of getting sick of crocheting like the same things over and over again, I think this would be a really fun thing to just like get out of a funk and crochet something really silly for yourself. Overall, I think this is a super fun crochet kit. I honestly like want to message them and ask them what yarn this is because I want some more. This is super nice yarn. I just love him. I just, I'm like, I am super excited to make I am super excited to make the capybara and the bee. I feel like I might have to give the capybara to one of my friends though because she loves the capybara song. Um even though I totally um selected these ones with my intent to keep them for myself, 
but you know whatever anyways i will keep you updated though when i make them because <laughs> they're so fun they're so funny i <laughs> I was a little bit scared because I'm like, oh, you know, I've never really like had people send me something to test. I don't want to be mean, but I really liked it. It is, it just doesn't get old. If you want to try this kit out for yourself or one of the other kits that I mentioned, they also have a bunch of other kits and they sell these things separately online in their shop, which I have listed down below. Let me know what you thought. Are you intrigued with these guys as I am? I was seeing all of their you know, Instagram, I was gonna say shorts, Instagram reels, like making these guys everywhere. And so I'm really happy that they reached out. And <laughs> I'm very happy now that I have my own. If there are any other crochet kits you want me to test out, let me know. I have been eyeing Wobbles kits. I think they're being sold at Joanne Fabrics now. So now it's like really local and I wouldn't have to pay for shipping to try it out. So let me know if you want me to review any other crochet kits or any other yarns and things like that. I really do enjoy doing these reviews because you find new fun things. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you High Crochet for sending me these kits. These are <laughs> super fun and I'm just going to be squeezing this pretty much for the whole rest of the night. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.